Over the years, ASIMO has been constantly developed, and it's now mobile enough to play sports. However, it's wise to warm up before any physical exercise, even if you're a robot. And as well as run at six miles an hour, ASIMO can walk backwards and hop. You can also kick a ball, so time for a quick robot versus human penalty shootout. That's 1-0 to the Autobots. But is Asimo as good at saving a shot as it is at taking one? Ah, looks like Honda hasn't trained Asimo to be a goalkeeper just yet. Football is thirsty work, but thankfully Asimo can get you some refreshments. With hands that have 13 degrees of freedom, it's able I thought it was amazing. I've never seen anything like that. Going up and down the steps was very cool, because that I would yeah. think would be really hard, especially going back down the steps. That was cool. See it this close and how fluid it is, is insane. It's pretty insane. I felt almost an emotional connection with it, almost immediately. I could see how, you know, humans could definitely get attached on that level. I thought it was a wonderful piece of technology. The advancements have only seem to have gone further from the original. Just the capability of him is outstanding. For a minute there, like, he just wonder if there's actually somebody inside that thing, you know? I mean, to see a robot get the movement in his arms and shoulders and all the joints it looks like a human to have, so it was pretty impressive. Yeah, I did not know robots were <laughs> good to do that. Yeah. So. That Osimo was awesome. <laughs> Osimo was awesome, yeah, it was incredible. He's awesome. He is. <laughs> I think everybody should have one. あ、私は川田工業と山荘県で共同開発されたロボット。ATR に
つ乾燥ポーズ Go and join the others. In total, Asimo has 57 degrees of freedom, and this allows it to dance, while its 52 volt battery can keep it going for 40 minutes. Looks like this robot actually has better moves than some humans. Anyway, for that. Well, that's me. I've got to go now, but it was very nice to meet you. And don't forget to write, okay, or email, or whatever. Arms, because customer wanted to have a larger working space. So, so this is how we designed this robot. So, in this version, we improved the quality of the robot in terms of robustness. Uh, we improved uh, the motion engine, having a uh, much uh, smoother walking, uh, reliable and, and able to work on small obstacles like without falling down. Else. May I? No, keep quiet. Uh, after that, in terms of software, 
with some uh, face recognition engine. So we, a robot is able to recognize your face once it has learned it. Uh, picture recognition, image recognition, or this kind of things that help turning him more interactive. You can see that. So, very clear expression. But I want him to stop making noise during my speech. Can someone please switch on the light? So if we really want the robot to be able to help people, humanity, so we need to have uh, the robot accepted, casting positive effects. And this is a question of, of shape of the robot, this is a question of design, but it's more a question of uh, behavior. Hey, now! Tell us a story. Okay. A long time ago, in a galaxy far far away. The galaxy is living in dark times again.